MLB The Show just dropped a 99 Jacob deGrom in chase packs, and this card looks unreal. He attributes across the board phenomenal. He, of course, has outlier on his four-seam fastball, and SDS decided that they wanted to add nightmare fuel. They gave him a sinker. Yeah, this Jacob deGrom is probably the best pitcher in the game, and I spent 600,000 stubs to buy him. So Jacob deGrom is gonna get the start on the God Squad. Let's see how good this card really is. As I search for a game, just a reminder that if you're going to any baseball games coming up, use code Coogs on SeatGeek to save $20 on your tickets. And check out Underdog Fantasy for Daily Fantasy Sports. These are the pick'em entries I'm going with for today's MLB games. If you want to use my pick'em entries or make a pick'em entry of your own, sign up on Underdog, use code Coogs, and they'll match your first deposit all the way to $100. It's Jacob deGrom versus Hilton Smith. See what this deGrom's got going for him. Already 2-0 here on Jackie. All right, 101. Gotta see what this sinker looks like on a DeGrom card. I can't believe they gave him a sinker, dude. That's crazy. He's worked it to 3-2. I'm gonna go to the fastball. I'm gonna see how his timing looks on this on two strikes. And... I mean, he went with it. I know some people wanted DeGrom to get an outlier slider similar to how John Donaldson has on his card, but... Dude, what more do you want? They gave this card incredible attributes and a sinker. Like, okay, man. Look, at you can just strike people out on circle changes over the middle. Oh, DeGrom is human. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We got it. Let's get some run support for DeGrom. I don't know what to expect off Hilton Smith. I don't even know what pitches he has. He's got a slider, a sinker, a change up. I have no idea what I should be expecting. I should be expecting Ronald Acuna Jr for a leadoff bomb. Jacob deGrom getting run support. This is great. What a way to start off the new ranked season, by the way. A new chase pack player, and I'm getting a leadoff home run for the offense. Dude, we got three new World Series rewards, and there is one that I am gonna go feral for. <gasps> okay, well, You've got Byron Buxton, who looks okay. He's going to be very good on All-Star. They just always screw his contact against righties. You have Al Leiter, who looks great attribute-wise, but I'm a little bit worried about his control. The pitch mix is phenomenal, though. The card I'm really excited for is this Rafael Devers. The hitting stats on this card are some of the best in the game, and he can play second base. Plus, Devers has an awesome swing. That's the guy I want from World Series this time around. Oh, smoked. Ellie. Get two. Easy double. Ball four. Come on, Adley. I need these runs. Bases are going to be juiced. Hank. That's... Oh, I'm going to score everyone. Hey, it's a little cheap, but I'm trying to get run support for Jacob DeGrom. Two outs now. Here comes Lightning Bellinger. Dude, I think SDS made a little error today. If you guys didn't see it, there was a weird Cody Bellinger card on the market earlier. It said Kaiju Series, and the attributes were incredible. Definitely better than the Player of the Month card. It must have been something where Cody Bellinger was supposed to be the Chase Pack player, and then he ended up winning player of the month belly dude this game is so laggy yeah it was most likely bellinger was going to be either a chase pack player or a world series reward and they just like forgot to take him out of the game when uh you know this update came out and it, it was weird he's gone now it was just kind of interesting to see dude you got to get Hilton Smith out of the game. I also have to be careful because I don't want this guy to quit after like one inning when I have DeGrom on the mound. There we go. You know, what? I kind of threw that at bat. That was a hittable pitch, but I'm not trying to get 10 runs in the first and have this guy quit. Let's go DeGrom second inning of work. Dude, if he's going to be very late on a changeup, I have to go to a fastball right here, right? I mean, he timed it. Oh, now he's early. This is where I bring in the slider. Low and inside, off the plate. Oh, he wanted it too. I'm staying in that location, but I'm going with the change up this time. Okay, well that hung. Oh, get him at first. Dude, this game is so laggy. It feels like it can freeze literally at any point. And I think it honestly might have. I think I just froze. 20 minutes later. Oh man. What a way to start the season, man. A freeze-off.
All right, I'm doing another game. I'm taking on Paul Skeens, but this is no longer ranked. This is a friendly against my guy, Sean Caddy 37. I would have loved to debut DeGrom in ranked seasons, but apparently I'm only going to get two innings and I'm going to get a freeze off in 2023 because we still have those issues. But this should be a full nine inning game. So this will be the true DeGrom debut. Atta boy belly. I knew I should have just quit that last one from the jump, dude. That was so laggy right off the start. I had that feeling in the back of my mind that there was going to be some tomfoolery going on in that one, but hey, it is what it is. All right, let's just focus on DeGrom now. 2-2. I know he's looking for the hard stuff. I'm going to go circle change low and away. Oh, yes, he did. Come on. That's not a strike. I'm sorry. What? Good pitch. Good pitch. <laughs> hey, I hope he replay. You know what? I'm going to replay it for you. That was insane. I just spent 600K on a card to get a freeze off and ranked, which I lost because my opponent didn't quit. And then had a friend of mine hit a three run tank in the first inning. My Friday could not be going any better. Can I beat him with a fastball to end the inning? Thank you. I got some work to do, apparently. Okay, okay. Acuna's having a day. Mm, good cutter. Good pitch. Oh, that was not... Well, what the hell am I doing? What do you got? Yeah, yeah. I knew it. Let's go, DeGrom. Can we have a better inning this time? Can we not allow a three-run, 420-plus-foot bomb? Or we'll just get more base runners. Man, I got to figure out how to pitch with DeGrom. I feel like I'm just not throwing the best two-strike pitches. Oh, Bellinger, you got plenty of room here, dude. Got baby. Get him, get him, get him. Now the double play's gone. Good slider, man. That looked like a strike for so long. Okay, two strikes. What's going to be the out pitch? I'm going to go slider... Off the plate. There it is. I need more of that. Let's go, Jake. The offense has slowed down ever since Ronald Acuna Jr.'s leadoff bomb. I have not really figured out Paul Skeens very much, so I need DeGrom to get me some zeros and keep me in this game. I kind of want to go to the slider again, but I don't know how many times that's actually going to work. Just keep doing it until it doesn't. That scared me. Huge. Good pitch. Ellie's there. Bang. Can I get something going off Paul Skeens in the third? Come on. Let's go. You don't want to pitch to Acuna right now. I'm going to let you know that right away. Ronald Acuna Jr. is on fire today. Just like that, we got a tie ball game. Oh, and we have the lead. Paul Skeens made a mistake. The Commerce Comet made him pay. I got you, Jacob DeGrom. Just keep doing your thing on the mound. The offense will help you out. Okay, come on. First time DeGrom has had a lead in this game, but it's only one run, and we saw how easy it was for my guy Sean to put up three in one inning. Oh, no. That was dangerous. He missed it. I will say, after this video, even though this card is very good and probably could be considered the best pitcher in the game, I think I'm going to sell him, not because I don't think he's good or that I don't think he improves my team because he absolutely does. I just have a hard time justifying spending 600,000 stubs on a card that I can't use in every game. You know what I mean? Like Ellie De La Cruz, I'm fine with the high price tag because I know he's going to be my shortstop or third baseman or second baseman every single game I play. But 600,000 stubs spent on a guy that's only going to play every three to five games. I don't know. That, that's harder for me to justify. Plus, there are a lot of good pitchers in the game right now. So even though this card is very good and I anticipate him being very good and very difficult to hit for me, I just don't really see a world where it makes too much sense for me to keep him in my rotation with such a high price tag, if that makes sense. Oh my God, Adley. I love this Adley card so far, dude. That's not being robbed, right? Yeah, we're good. I was about to say, I'm surprised Paul Skeens is still in the game. We got Araldis Chapman now. That could go. I think that is going. Hammer and Hank goes the other way. I will say, I've had a couple home runs where I'm not all over the ball. That's for sure. That's down, right? Oh, 
<laughs> All right, man. Okay. Okay. Now we're seeing a little bit of everything today. Back to the star of the show, Jacob deGrom, out for his fifth inning of work. Oh, Griffey. Hey, take this away. Let's go. Keep this out of three-run game. Come on, Griffey. Come on, Griffey. <gasps> oh, I don't think I would have been able to get it even if I did time it right but that would have been so electric for Griffey to make a diving play and then rob a home run on the very next at bat in the game gas a hundred away that's what belly's there for I wish I could put belly in the outfield to take advantage of his defense but I mean honestly my outfield defense is good everywhere so I'm not really missing out too much by playing Bellinger at first base Good pitch. Hey, we gave up one, but that's fine. Because we're going to get it right back. The Commerce Comet delivers again. I'm trying to let Jacob deGrom go as deep into this game as possible. Sure, we're at 66 pitches in the sixth inning. He's already given up four runs, but... I mean, it was a rough first inning and then a solo shot in the last inning. Everything else has been pretty solid. Try something different here. I'm going to go slider low and inside. Try to catch... Strikeout's great, but that was not where it was supposed to go. Ooh, he just missed that. I am a little scared of Adley. I need this fastball to work right here. Okay, perfect, because that sets up the slider that I want to throw on one, two. Come on. He might know it's coming, but he might not be able to hold up. Or he's going to keep it fair. All right. I executed everything to perfection, and he's still got a double. Now don't let him score. Come on. Come on. Perfect. I got the ground ball and the sinker low. Ellie, bang. Like I said, even though it's four runs allowed, I think it's six very solid innings overall from DeGrom. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God, J-Ram. That's a nuke. This is good. More breathing room for Jacob DeGrom. Look at Bellinger the other way. Up the middle. Come on, come on, come on. No. No, no, dude, Ellie is so good. Nine more outs to Grom. I believe you can do this. I am doing a risky slider here. Let's go, Bellinger. Come on, keep this weak contact going. Exactly what I wanted. And there we go. Jacob DeGrom only has six more outs until he gets a CG. Let's go, DeGrom. Lock it in right here. That is a dangerous pitch. Ellie can absolutely hit that, even though it's not a strike. Going to another changeup. Another ground ball. Okay, okay. That's fine. Let's leave him out there. We got two outs. Ah, uh, DeGrom, I really want you to go CG, but you're making it tough now. Thank God, Bellinger. Adley was about to hurt me again. Come on, man. Let's try to get a little bit more insurance for DeGrom. Adley, did he do it again? Adley Rushman is ridiculously good. This is what I needed, man. He got a run in the top of the eighth. I answered back with two big solo shots. Let's do it. He basically doesn't have an elbow right now, but I'm going for it, man. Three more outs. Oh man, he's in the red energy. His control is getting a little worse, man. The perfect release is... Once again, the ball is glitching so much today. It's fine. Hey, that's what those two big runs in the eighth were for. One more, baby. Two strikes. Let's go with the slider away. <laughs> oh, it just has to be interesting, doesn't it? And there it is. Weak contact off the end of the bat. Jacob deGrom secures the complete game. He gets the victory. That was a wild one. Big shout out to Sean for helping me out and playing this friendly game with me when deGrom got screwed and ranked. But the biggest takeaway I have with this deGrom card is he's very good, but he is human. He can get hit. Obviously, if this was a real ranked game, he probably wouldn't have gone all the way to the ninth inning like he did here. He's not unhittable, but he is very good. <laughs>